and she took the couch and the TV. Damn! Hello. You ready to be a man, Xavier? What? You already had this conversation. I'm serious, X. This is your future we're talking about. Our future. I just can't make a decision like that. Or you're going to have to. Because I'm not. And I'm not moving back in until you do. Hey, come on. Xavier, I'm not doing the baby please thing again. Listen, I'm working the night shift. I get off at midnight. Will you have made a decision by then? Sure. I'll call you then. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. I'm a grown man. I can find my own place to live. Open the door, Peanut. It's me. Peanut? Nobody called me Peanut but my... Then, Is that you? The one and only. Now, are you going to open this door and let me in or what? Hey! <laughs> man! Uh, how you doing? I'm good. Man? How are you, man? Pretty good. Well, this is nice and... Uh... Spacious. <laughs> well, hey, it's the best that I can do for now. I'm sure you could have scraped up some change and bought a couch for your brother to sleep on. Well, I had a couch for my girl. Oh. Sleep on? Yeah. I'm in town for a few nights. Mm. I figured I'd stay here with you versus going to some overpriced hotel. At least I thought until I found out you don't have a couch. Well, I mean, the carpet is soft. Believe me. And how do you know? What, your girl isn't letting you sleep in the bed anymore? She took the bed when she took the couch. What? Nothing, man. Hey, let me get you something to cover over it, huh? Yeah. I had a spot bigger than this when I was an undergrad. Hey, you leaving already? What? No, 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 I, I, no. All right then. All right, man, tell me about California. It's hot and overly liberal. What else do you want to know? I want to know about your life out there, Bo. Bo, I haven't called that in years. That's what you get when you leave home for three years. You miss out on shit, man. Hey. <laughs> Watch your mouth, kid. And yes, I left Texas for a while. I had the most amazing job offer. I wasn't going to pass that up. Not for you or anyone else. Not even her? Especially not her. No, that's why I stayed in LA. Everyone always wants to bring up old shit. All the time. Hey, calm down, man. It ain't even that deep. Shit, I was just asking a question. What do you have to eat? I can't believe you don't even have a loaf of bread. I don't need all that fancy stuff. <laughs> fancy stuff? Bread and water is like the most basic of basic essentials. I'm going through some shit right now. What the hell could you be going through so bad that you can't afford a loaf of bread? Chill out, bro. You're starting to sound like Jim hating ass. <laughs> hey, I'm nothing like that, man. You say so. So are we going to stand here all night or are we going to get some food? I'm looking for that car you posted on Facebook, man. Look at that as hell. You know, you know how long a drive from California can be? I, I just flew. You know, and, and then I, I took an Uber here. So how'd you find out where I, where I live? Well, he's told me.
don't act like that towards her. The woman did raise us. It takes a special woman to adopt two boys from two totally different backgrounds and then raise them together. But well, what type of woman does it take to marry a guy like Jim? If you're hungry, you better come get your ass in the car. I've got to admit, I'm a little shocked too. How long has it been again? Three years. He got some job working at a reality TV show. Big money. Got him the first thing smoking. I don't know. Brother or no brother, people don't just drop back into your life after all that time without a reason. He's up to something. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. What do you mean, Ed? Hello? Come on, that's it? That's all? I just say, watch yourself. Your family isn't always on the up and up. And what is that supposed to mean? You know what that means. Your family doesn't always have your back. They only do things when it benefits them. That's not true. Yes, it is. You remember when they met me for the first time? going on and on about how they were so proud to have adopted all minority children. You're a status symbol to them. Okay, just stop it. What does that have to do with Damon? If they use you to make themselves look good, then obviously he's going to use you for something as well. He's my brother, Elle. Watch yourself. Remember, you have a future to think about. I know. Midnight. Hey, Bo, you good? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Let's just go back to your place. Oh, you had all damn day to check your mail, and you want to do it now? Shut up, Bo. Oh, hurry up. That fantastic burger's making my stomach hurt. Hey, bro, do not fart out here. Oh, I'm going to do more than that if you don't hurry up. Still have to admit Should be enough time. Hey man, I hope you sprayed in there. Cause when we was kids, you used to have the bathroom smelling like death. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> At least I don't check behind the shower curtain before I use the toilet. Hey, hey, hey man, it, it could be somebody back there. Scary, yes. Whatever, and just play the damn movie so I can go to sleep. Oh. <laughs> 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 Toy Story 2. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious, man. You don't remember. I don't remember what? How bad this movie is? What? Nothing, man. No, no, it's something. What, what is it? Damn, dude. Just let it go, man. You're not the boss of me. So stop trying to tell me what to do, especially when you don't follow your own advice. Okay, I know what this is. You know, you're just like Jim and Luis and, and, and her. Just always trying to remind me of every mistake she I've ever made. She has a name, man. Well, I didn't come back to this. Of course. I'm just going to leave. I don't have anywhere else to go. If you did, you would have been there already. I called Luis while you were in the bathroom. And she said that you're not welcome at her house. At least not while he's there. I'm not going to do this. You're just trying to get me to talk about Jim and her. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to talk about her. Michelle is her name, man. Our neighbor, your, your high school sweetheart, Michelle. You always tried to boss me around. Tell me what the right thing to do is. But when it's time for you to stand up and do the right thing, you ran. You ran all the way to California. I did what I had to do. You was just trying to protect Luis. Because you know if you told on Jim, it would hurt her. Man, you ain't nothing but a mama's boy. I was protecting me. I was there. 
I know Jim tried to rape Michelle. I saw it with my own two eyes. I heard her screaming. I heard her fight him until she broke free. And I just stood there, frozen. I couldn't move. I couldn't defend her. You could have stayed, man. You could have testified against him. But you ran. Jim told me he would buy my ticket to L.A. And he would pay for me to live there until I got a job. If I stayed quiet, I wasn't going to let anyone take my dream opportunity away from me. I didn't even hurt. Ebony, it's only like 11.15. Well, I thought it was 9.15. The ad said no calls after 10. I hope I didn't disturb you. What are you talking about? The ad in the paper for the 2014 Mercedes. Mercedes for sale? Yeah, it says owner is desperate for cash. Best offer gets the car. I really want it. I'm trying to shoot an independent action film and... Someone called about your Mercedes. I guess you put two and two together. Yeah. So how'd it happen? Show got canceled. Get another job and that gets canceled. Get another job and that one lasts for a little while. I got a whole bunch of stuff I didn't need and then Guess what? It gets canceled. And I get evicted. I lose all my stuff and then I'm left trying to sell my car on Craigslist. I couldn't even afford a plane ticket. I had to take a bus from California all the way to here. <laughs> Longest 30 hours of my life. I'm trying to laugh now. Just I ain't so funny when it gets real. Tell me about it. Dear Mr. Xavier Willis, we are pleased to accept you into the Morehouse School of Medicine, class of 2022. Hello, brother. So proud of you. Thanks. Now I have a decision to make. Decision? What other option is there besides going to medical school? So, Xavier, have you made a decision? It's not that easy. Yes, it is. Either you're going to be a man and stay here and raise this baby, or you're going to be a little boy and run off to Atlanta and play doctor. So, which is it? I can't give up on medical school. But you can give the woman you love and your child up. Ebony. Don't Ebony me. You get to ruin my future and you still have one? Oh, no. It's not going down like that. What you mean? You gonna see what I mean real soon. It's all gonna work out. If you say so. You never did say why you liked this stupid movie anyway. It was the day that our adoption was finalized. Jamie and Jim took us to see this movie, man. The first time I felt like I had a family. But oh, man, I'm sick. 
scared. Don't worry, Peanut. We'll figure it out.